Welcome to LNP Renewable System Leaders. Today we are going to discuss some of the basics of the Electric UV Technology Part 10. So this session we had classified into 24 parts. If you have missed a part 1 to 9, no issue. Um, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Get into your channel. In the channel we had created a playlist. So in the playlist so you can see all the 24 parts that we had discussed. So in our videos we might be using so many abbreviations and if you have any doubt uh, when you are listening to our videos, please refer to this part for the abbreviation clarity. What are the things that we are going to discuss today in this part? Today we are going to discuss what are the different classifications of the motors available in the market and what are the different motor technologies that we are using in the electrical vehicle and how a traditional brushed motor works and what are its drawbacks and what are the advantages of the brushless DC motor okay how a permanent magnet synchronous motor and a permanent magnet brushless DC motor looks like what are the major differences between the permanent magnet synchronous motor and a permanent magnet brushless DC motors so if we get into the major classification, we can classify our motor into AC and the DC. So in the AC side, we have a asynchronous and a synchronous and we, in the DC side, uh, even on the AC side, we also have the variable reluctance motors also. So when you get in depth into the synchronous, we have a brushless DC motor, we have a reluctance motor, okay, we have a permanent magnets and we have a, so many varieties in it. Okay. So what are the important uh, motor technologies that are getting used in the electric vehicle. So nowadays the electric vehicle technologies are getting designed with the help of this brushless DC motor, permanent magnet synchronous motor, induction motors, synchronous reluctance motor. So most importantly all this motor running magnet is very much important. Electromagnet and the permanent magnets are playing an important role in the running of this electrical motor most importantly the rotor part so when we get into the traditional brushless dc brushed dc motor see here so what is happening what we are going to do here we have a permanent poles north and the south pole so when in the same pole okay uh, with the help of this batteries we are trying to charge these um, coils so we are trying to change the polarity of these coils. So when the north pole is coming near to the north pole because of its uh, repulsion what is happening it will make a rotation. So now the same north pole when it is coming near to the south what we are going to do we are changing the positive negative polarity of this concert coil what is happening at that time. So when it is coming near to the south pole we are changing the north pole to south pole by changing its polarity. So because of its repulsive action the entire thing is running continuously. So this is a simple example of a uh, switching of a uh, current polarity that is the commutation process we are doing okay and because of this physical contact there is a possibility for the brushes to get out the main drawback is that we need a high maintenance cost for the brushes that we are using in this uh, brush DC motor and it has an efficiency very low and control is very easy since we are using the DC voltages so when you are going for a brushless DC motor what are the shortcomings that we face in the brush DC motor we can overcome from this uh, brushless DC motor. So it has a very less maintenance when compared to the brushed DC motor. Okay, and uh, um, we have a different magnetic arrangements where the stator may be a different numbers of windings, and the rotor will have a multiple pole pairs. So when we try to see how a permanent uh, permanent magnet. A synchronous motor looks like and how a permanent magnet brushless DC motor looks like. See these are the motors that we are using in our uh, regular electrical vehicles nowadays. This is for heavy duty and this will be for the two wheelers applications. So when we make a comparison the um, permanent magnet synchronous motor is designed with a sinusoidal distribution whereas this uh, permanent magnet brushless DC motor is Designed with a trapezoidal distribution. It means uh, with a since it is a sinusoidal distribution, um, the control method will be sinusoidal. Whereas in case of trapezoidal, the control method will be trapezoidal. In uh, permanent magnet synchronous motor, we have a sophisticated speed control. Whereas in case of uh, 
trapezoidal type that is uh, permanent magnet brushless DC motor it is very very simple okay and for the permanent synchronous motor we are using the expansive position sensors okay for the absolute position we are using encoders also whereas in case of uh, permanent brushless DC motor we are using the low cost hall position sensors thank you so much please subscribe and press the bell icon if you want to know more and learn more please contact us we have provided the contact details here uh, we are providing PLC programming training for Allen Broadly, Siemens Delta PLCs for Triple E, ECE and uh, electronic instrumentation engineering backgrounds and if you have a plan to work in the GCC countries then you can contact us we have provided the contact details here we are providing training in building management system and building automation control system and if you had a plan to work in a solar industry and if you want to implement the solar on grid and off grid for your homes or factories then you can contact us we have provided the contact details here and if you had a plan to establish a fencing for your agricultural farms, we are providing solar fencing as a kit. So you can contact us, we are providing the contact details here. And if you are very much interested to learn the electric vehicle basics, so then you can contact us, we have provided the contact details here. We are also providing a training along with the certifications. Thank you.